let us study about the structure of a seed a seed has a outer covering called seed coat this seed coat protects the internal parts of a seed there is an embryo present inside the seed which is also known as a baby plant there is cotyledon which stores food for the growing embryo on the basis of number of cotyledons present in a seed the seeds are of two types dicot seeds means there are two cotyledons monocot seeds means there is one cotyledon in general pulses have dicot seeds and cereals have monocot seeds the carrying away of seeds and fruits to far away places by wind water or any other agent is called seed dispersal the process by which seeds grow into a new plant is known as germination seeds do not grow into a new plant unless they get favorable conditions the favorable conditions are water air and proper temperature when a seed get favorable conditions it starts sprouting a sprouting seed first gives out a radical which becomes the root of a new plant then arises the plumule which becomes the shoot system of the new plant a type of germination in which the seed comes out of the soil during the process of germination is called epigeal germination a type of germination in which the seed remains inside the soil during the process of germination is called hypogeal germination transplantation in certain plants like paddy brinjal onion and tomato seeds are first sown in a nursery to get seedlings then these seedlings are transferred to the main field for further growth this is known as transplantation some plants like bread mold reproduce by spore formation look at the sporangium and the spores inside it through a magnifying glass let us recall what we have learned today a seed has three parts seed coat cotyledon and embryo on the basis of number of cotyledons seeds are of two types monocot seeds and dicot seeds a seed needs air water and proper temperature for germination germination is of two types epigeal germination and hypogeal germination the method by which seedlings are transferred from nursery to the main field to get healthy plants is called transplantation and last bread mold reproduced by spore formation